there's a changing of the guard at Redskins Park, and let's hear what Clinton Portis has to say about that and about his retirement. I mean, it feels good, you know, being able to go out uh, on my own terms, healthy, uh, still able to enjoy life. I think it's a great feeling, you know, uh, just to have this opportunity. You always wish, you know, most of the time growing up, you think retirement, you'll be in your 60s or 70s. And here I am, 30 years old, and I got the opportunity to say I retired. But he was number one in your heart, Clinton Porter. You know, I, I would love to stay in the uh, area uh, to participate with, with Redskins TV and uh, radio, you know, uh, even hopefully one day ESPN and NFL Network. The sky's the limit, really. What was the best thing about playing NFL football and with the Redskins? You know, just to, to live out a dream. I think so many kids say, I want to go to the NFL, or I want to be a professional athlete. And, uh, when you look back, just having the opportunity and really saying like I did. So uh, having the opportunity to play, the teammates you meet, the, uh, how you got, it's an instant brotherhood. Like you got to come together and everybody got to have one common goal. And uh, that's for the team. And, and, and to go out and lay it on the line for everybody. You know, every week you got at least 60 people depending on you. And that's your teammates and coaches. And, uh, you got to deliver. So to, to be able to say, I deliver, it's a great feeling. I think people can appreciate a stand-up guy. You know, I, I think I, I stuck to my guns. I always was myself. Uh, I never really changed. I spoke my mind. I told the truth, you know, and I think uh, the truth rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, but a lot of people appreciate it, you know, and I, I went out and gave everything I had. So uh, when you see someone lay it on the line and, uh, willing to, to deal with uh, the consequences that come with it, I was willing. And, and you know, I stayed myself, I stayed humble, I stayed appreciative, uh, I stayed prayed up, and you know, it was a joyous run. What do you say to these young running backs that are in here now? Um, you got some young guys. Uh, what would you say to them about what they need to do? I mean, you know, they just got to go out and play their game. You know, I think a lot of pressure going to be off of them having RG3 in the, in the backfield with them. So just go out and play your game. You know, they got a great uh, position coach in Bobby Turner, and he really taught me, he taught me so much, you know, from Denver to D.C., um, Coach Solinger, Ernest Biner. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of being with uh, some great coaches, you know, um, not only coaches, just some great people. So uh, you listen, you know, I think the talent, the gift that they have to get, uh, they got them to this stage, um, Listen to Bobby T, he going to perfect it, he going to get you right, and, you know, the sky's the limit for them. There's a lot of excitement here in Washington with Robert Griffin here. Uh, what about you? How do you feel about this team? You know, I, I think it's always excitement in Washington, but uh, having that type of player, like a, a dynamic, that's another special player. He hasn't made a play, and uh, all of a sudden, he got the pressure of the world on his shoulders, and it's like he calm, he relaxed, and... Uh, he ready to take that, you know, and, and it kind of remind me of myself. I didn't know the pressure I was getting myself into, and uh, he don't either. But you know, if he go out and play his game and uh, do what he did at Baylor, he going to have enough players around him. But, again, it always comes down to injury and O-line. You know, if the O-line is healthy, I think the uh, Redskins offense is going to be dynamic. And, you know, the defense always solid. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it, and good luck to you. All right, Clinton Porter's always a stand-up guy with me. I always enjoyed working with him. Yeah, just 30 and already retired. That's right, and he talked about that. I mean, he said normally people are like 60 talking about retirement. Yeah. He's, he, but he says he has some business ventures that he's going to get into, and uh, good luck to him, huh? Yeah, good luck to him. All right, and, uh, you know, there's been so much excitement in the Washington area during the offseason awaiting the debut of Robert Griffin III. And it was evident at the Redskins annual Welcome Home Luncheon, which was held last month at the JW Marriott. And if you've never been to one of these events, here's what it was like.
there's definitely a lot of excitement this year, I think, because the fans can see the progress we've made over the past couple of years. And, uh, you know, with uh, RG3 coming to town, I think that's obviously another big reason fans are excited, and rightfully so, because he's a, he's a phenomenal young talent, and uh, I'm excited to see what he can do. There's always excitement in Washington, but uh, having that type of player, like a, a dynamic, that's another special player. He hasn't made a play, and uh, all of a sudden, he got the pressure of the world on his shoulders, and it's like he calm, he relaxed, and uh, he ready to take that. The motivation that the team seems to have, the players this year are a lot more motivated. Uh, they, they seem to be excited about what they're doing for change, and uh, I think they're, they're highly, uh, highly committed to what they're doing this year to winning. This is a start. You know, there's a lot of new people on this team uh, that are very, very talented, but they're new. And so it takes time. But we could get lucky, and that time is shortened, and we, and we get to the playoffs and have a shot at the Super Bowl. But, you know, it's not, it, doesn't, it wouldn't deter me if they didn't make the playoff uh, from the lofty you know, expectations that we have. It wouldn't deter me from thinking they're a great team at all. Cause it's gonna take it's gonna take some time. This year, I think we're just gonna be quiet and you know just you know create some habit. You know, once we get started in New Orleans, so I'm excited about this season, and I'm excited about the future of this team. Hell to the Redskins. All right, we're back here, and uh, wow, the Redskins are just got a lot going on this year. Uh, Donna, let's talk a little bit about this uh, game with the Rams coming right. up this weekend. Uh, the Rams have a new coach, Jeff Fisher, and Sam Bradford is back. So that's not going to be as easy as people think, huh? No, and then uh, you got one of the Schottenheimers as far as, as the, on the defense side of the ball, too. But Jeff Fisher brings a, a whole new element to this Rams team that they did not have the year before. Um, and I think that that makes them more dangerous. Uh, uh, Brad, for everybody was talking about him being in his, you know, second year or so, and what, what do you expect out of him? But I think that he's a better quarterback, but I think that the Redskins have to be a little more concerned about the defensive side of the ball of the Rams more so. And they snuck, I mean, they pretty much lost that game to the Lions almost, you know, at the end. That's a question mark pertaining to that game. But I think the Rams is a, a, are a good team. But I like what Brian Arapo said. They're just going to be quiet. And a lot of people are, are, are hyped up because of that first game. But I think the Redskins have to go into St. Louis, and that's going to be a scary game right there. That's right. Second straight game on the road. Yeah, too. on the road. All right, and uh, of course they'll see uh, former Redskin Rocky McIntosh yeah, playing Rocky. linebacker yeah. for the Rams. Exactly. All right. Well, coming up, Donna and I will rate performances of the new young guns starting in the league this season, and we'll rank Sideline Report's top five teams. So don't go away. More from the Sideline Report after this. <laughs> 